All right, introducing the new Double Geek. We just actually got this finished, and they are now um, becoming available in stores and, of course, at readgeek.com. Um, what is really cool about this tool is it's catered now for the double read player. You could, the single read player could still use it, but the added options are that you have now an extender handle that gives you leverage while working on your reads, for, especially for double read players that really want to have their use of that leverage and want to move more cane. The other cool thing about it is the handle does screw out, so you could use the tool like other read geeks without it or you can go ahead and use it with the extender in it. Um, with the set, you do, uh, we do include uh, one of our traditional cases, self-locking. So if you are traveling on an airplane, um, you could take it apart, you could store your uh, geek in here and keep it separate, um, just so it doesn't look like a straight knife or an ice pick or something like that. Um, also now included, um, we have a new uh, neoprene bag. All this is made in the USA. It's a really thick, real good quality neoprene. It is self-locking. Um, one cool thing, again, is it includes a microfiber, so you can use it to wipe your tool after use. It just stuffs back into your bag. You put your uh, Double Geek in, flip it down, and you're off to go. It also has a cool little clip here if you want to clip it on something. And you can also use this bag. Um, they'll be available also as accessory alone on our website and maybe in some stores to store uh, even for single replay or some of your reads, um, a mouthpiece, or whatever you would like to store in there. So um, what we have now on the Double Geek is you have, again, all of your edges are usable on the Geeks. And this would be true with the Double Geek. Um, this has our new proprietary black diamond wear finish, which gives you a very, very smooth cut and a long wear, uh, a lot of wear to the edge, and it prevents it from any corrosion or oxidation. And these are the two things that actually kill edges on traditional knives and other steels. Um, we have, again, we have our scraper radius that you can use for profiling windows and channels. Um, you have your rail bevels coming up in here traditionally like on other geeks i can show you in a second how this works but what's really cool is now you have these two very large contoured rail bevels for working on the spine and using uh, to contour bassoon and oboe reeds so i'm going to show you real quick um with or without a plaque you can do this um again coming in here let's see if i can get into the picture here you can go ahead and you can use these contour rail bevels just to come in here and follow and start to break down that spine. You can work it up near the tip. You can see I'm taking off cane. Um, they're, um, on this series, they're on both sides, so it's ambidextrous. So if you're lefty, you can use it the other way, but you can also come in at the reel going this way as a righty, and you're gonna get a little different cut, but you're still uh, following the contour of the spine here. Um, if I wanted to use my straight edges all these edges can be used to profile and scrape if i go ahead and put on a plaque here you can what's really cool about the geek is it's smooth enough i can go right off the tip of the reed here so i can work right off the tip um the other rail bevels here again that are coming in right at this spot right in here they're basically a just a, um, a relief bevel that you can also use to get in here and make some fine scrapings into your corners of your reed. Um, because they're contoured and beveled inward, you can go ahead and you can start to work your corners even on the straight edges. As you see, I'm just kind of planing and that because they fall away, you're not gonna catch the center of your tip, which is difficult and a technique that takes years using with knives. Um, to work our channels, again, the profile radius is you're going to think of it as your little mini pencil eraser. So I can come in here and I can quickly just pinpoint one section. I can work those channels all the way up. You can see that I'm, what I'm taking off right here. I can actually hit one little spot or I can go back and forth. I can also use it to blend between the different layers of the reed, especially to clean up your work. And this is true also for the, all of the long straight edges. I can go across as you would with certain files or sandpaper just to clean up your work from side to side. Um, another way you can go about this is you can come up here and working, if I'm put position myself here, I can work and I can get right in those channels and just do kind of a long scrape. This is really efficient, really precise. You can, it gives you a chance to see exactly where you're scraping. 
So that's um, how you'd work it on a bassoon. Again, for all the oboe players out there, same thing. I can just go ahead and use uh, all the edges on the Geek for a long scrape. This can go all the way off the tip. Um, again, using those little profilers here coming in the corner. I can come in here. I'm going to get my plaque here. I can come in here and work that area right off the corner without damaging my corners. Um, the big bevels, once again, these are really cool, very precise cutters that can come in here and profile the reed, profile the spine. You can go either way on those. And you're just making a very smooth cut. Again, working the windows, holding the radius like a little pencil eraser. I can get in here and define those windows. And a lot of reed players, or reed makers, excuse me, I know, kind of work those channels even on the oval all the way up and kind of really define that window. So you can go ahead and use the same motion as you did on the bassoon reed. Um, cleaning up their work, again, you can use it to go back and forth. Um, that is about it. But all these edges can be used. It's very precise. Um, it's wonderful for seasoned reed makers, people that are used to using knives but are on the gig and want to uh, just pop, a, you know, take out their reed geek, make small adjustments. But for the student, it's really invaluable. They don't have to sharpen knives. They can take it with them in school, and they can really start to make fine adjustments to their reeds.